Tip. Oh, I'm so excited that the rain has stopped. I'm trying to alert the surfers everywhere that it's time to hit the beach. Oh, yeah, like that really works. <laughs> See, it's clear at Zuma, too. <laughs> Great. Let's hurry. I want to get a spot by the lifeguard tower. It's the best place to drown. You're planning to drown? You will, too, when you see the lifeguard. <laughs> That's all you're bringing? Sure, everything else is there. Sun, sand, surf. What more do you need? Plenty. I'm bringing my Cosmo, my makeup, and my suntan lotion. <clears throat> a radio, a case of CDs, a cooler of mineral water, an umbrella, a folding chair, a portable cabana, some... What, no air conditioner? Uh, it's in the shop. I'm roughing it. <laughs> <laughs> Lorena, some people enjoy the beach as it is. I'm only bringing my surfboard. And all I'm bringing is my guitar. Oh, so you can practice on the beach? Yeah, practice getting girls. <laughs> yeah, well, while you reel them in with your music, I'm gonna watch your approach with these. And if I don't like what I see, bye-bye, Bufferilla. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, see, who needs guitars and binoculars when you got this? Okay. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> Good news, Celia. Now, I got a towel with some uh, room for two if you uh, catch my drift. Yeah, now you have room for you and your ego. <laughs> well, I'm not going. Let's go. Bro! You guys look like a trash heap. But I know. We, we hit some floating junk in the water and wiped. Some government dude pulled us out. What government dude? Government dude Bob. <laughs> he told us. The municipal shore is closed due to a large amount of post-consumer waste and a high bacteria count. <laughs> like bacteria can count. Oh, no. The water's too polluted to swim in. Why do people throw their trash away? Well, they do, right into the ocean. Man, there's got to be something we can do. Well, let's go bronze our bods. <clears throat> Wait! Aren't you guys listening? Our beach is polluted. You can't just ignore it. We're not ignoring it. We're just acting like nothing's wrong. Look, Sly, this is a big problem. We need to deal with it. Oh, come on. You're overreacting. I mean, the rain always washes a lot of trash and junk into the ocean. We just won't swim today. We'll stay on the sand. Fine, go ahead. But Tiff and I are going to stay and see what we can do to help. Yeah, but before we go, I better alert the other surfers about the pollution. Never, ever leave me asleep on the beach with her again. What's the big deal? A lot of people fall asleep on the beach. Yeah, but they usually don't wake up with their toenails polished. <laughs> hey, it was a new color for me. I had to see how it looked, and I wasn't going to experiment on myself. <laughs> I'm experiment on myself. Whoa, check out this hickey. Ooh, oh, yeah, nice shit, good color. It's a masterpiece. Oh. You should have signed this one, Jake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, of course not. I don't have a... Ah! Where'd that come from? <laughs> I guess Jake used the old way until she falls asleep and suck on her neck trick. <laughs> not that I actually done it. <laughs> Look, it wasn't me, all right? Oh, you bet it wasn't. It's a sunburn. When I put on my sunblock, I must have missed a spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
guys, we joined Save the Beach. Yeah, they're a really cool environmental group that goes around cleaning up the water. Yeah, and they told us there's a lot of things that we can do to help the environment. Like, don't throw your garbage into the sewers because it goes directly into the ocean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this Saturday, they're throwing a clean up the beach party. Ah, uh, who cares about a bunch of whale huggers? Well, yeah, they asked us to do a gig for them. Shamu, who loves you, baby? How much? How much? Zero, Sly. We volunteered. Sly, the environment is something we should all... Whoa! Mondo Hickey! Guys, we're talking about the environment. Where are your priorities? Priorities? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about my priorities. Well, first, there's girls. Well, then, there's girls. Well, beneath that, there's girls. Well, way down below that is the environment that I meet girls in. <laughs> like the circus. Ha, ha, ha. Try someplace nice like Paradise Cove. Good luck, they've closed Paradise Cove, too. What? What is it that they can't close it? Paradise Cove is my favorite late night lip locked and window steaming makeout spot. Well, if we don't do something soon, that won't be the only place that'll be closed. The world will be unlivable. The close paradise cold. Man, that's terrible. <sighs> oh, this place is disgusting. It's nothing but garbage and stink and, and a mermaid. A mermaid? <laughs> It's Mer-woman. Well, what are you doing on land, Miss Mer-woman? Since you humans polluted the ocean so badly, we can't live there anymore. Now my whole Mer family is living downtown in a pool at the Y. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you're pulling my fin. <laughs> hey, this water don't look so bad. <laughs> did you see what that fish just did to me? Beat it, you feisty flounder! I <laughs> just missed it, didn't you? <laughs> What was it all about? Well, all of fish kind is pretty ticked off at humankind for ruining Paradise Cove. This? This is Paradise Cove? Sure. People still come here to make out. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a stage 99 smog alert. You better put on your gas mask. But, but, but I don't have a gas mask. I don't have a gas mask. <laughs> Well, it's another stage three smog alert today, and if you're heading to the beaches, don't bother. They're still polluted from Redondo to Paradise Cove. Oh. Oh.